Welcome to step nine, final step where we submit our form and check integration log. So back here, I've done everything. I've selected my update, set my rule condition, mapped my fields, enabled my messages, and I'm just going to go ahead and click apply. Okay, so this is all good to go. And final step is just to click finish. Now we're going to go ahead and run an update. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and preview. So remember how it's done. We've got to see what that field is, FLD163. And after the question mark, I'm going to type FLD163 equals the record ID of Joe Blogs. Okay. There's the data. And now we're going to go ahead and update some stuff in for Joe Blogs. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll say, you know what? I consent. I, I consent to the data now. And we are going to just change the email. We're going to say Joe dot blogs at form titan dot com okay once this is done this is my update I'm gonna click submit now this update is gonna go through and push to Salesforce so we'll give it a second and now this has been done so the best way to check when this is completed is if you go back Remember, form, Salesforce integration, and then integration logs. Okay, so time here is half past 10 or 24 past 10. And then here it is. Look at that. There's my update at 1024 with my record ID. So remember the, the power of comments. When you write comments, you can t it can tell you the exact push it carried out. So if I click on the record ID here of Joe Blogs, what used to look like this Mr. Joe blogs and that now looks like this. There you go, Mr. Joe blogs, Joe dot blogs at formtitan.com and I consent. So we've gone, this was before where I do not consent and the email was different. Now this is done through the here, the update. Remember, you can use the same premise to update any custom or standard object. It doesn't really matter. The premise is the same. If you're using the URL parameter, you simply need to have the record ID into the hidden field, know how to populate it, and then e you either can display the data if you want, or you can just simply have them update it into Salesforce. And then once all of that is done, run a quick test, check your integration log, and should be good to go. And in the next page, I will post all the additional uh, videos that small nuanced uh, features that we have in each of these that you can check out um, and then I hope you learn from it